Alright, so now that you've got your stencils printed out, um, you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is uh, attach them to some type of cardboard. Uh, I don't recommend cardboard because it does not work well unless you have the exact right kind. Not a lot of people do. Like if it has like the little wafers in it, then it's no good. Uh, what I use are these uh, Manila folders. They're uh, pretty thin, so they're easy to cut but they're actually pretty durable and they've got these little tabs on the side and they actually help when uh, lining up your stencil so uh, I'm just gonna do this one with you guys uh, the simplest one the black outline I've already done these other two the uh, white and the gray and to cut these out uh, I recommend using a uh, exacto knife it's like a hobby knife you can find them at like any store um, you can also use box cutters. It's a lot harder. This is really the easiest way to do it. And next is a tip that I found helps like a lot. Um, and instead of taping this down, because when you're cutting it out, the paper will be like, flapping up and it'll just be really annoying. Uh, what I use is this spray adhesive. Uh, it's not that expensive. You can find it like Elmer's. This is just like uh, what I s found at Home Depot. Uh, it's not that expensive, like five dollars. So you just shake it up, and it's pretty much the exact same thing as spray paint. You all should be familiar with how to use spray paint. But uh, so basically, I just spray the folder, and then I just paste this down. And I try to get them in all the exact same position I did the other ones. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll help when lining it up. All right, that looks about good. All right, so we got our thing glued on. Now what you're gonna wanna do is give that a couple minutes to dry. And I'll be back to show you guys, I'll just quick demo cutting it out, and then we'll get on to spray painting it. Tired of screwing up, tired of going down, tired of myself, tired of this town. Small pine, big pine, the fish are the only difference. City out of harmony, lingering on the dissonance. Fishermen wrapping up citizens with their fishing nets. Sometimes chemicals, some played old imprisonment. Dissidents laughing at themselves as if they had a voice. Acting like technology really gives them a better choice. Protect the. That's stencil pretty easy. And then I'll show you guys some other stuff on the other stencils right now. Alright, so here's a few tips uh, that I found helpful when uh, cutting these detailed stencils like this. Not so much like the first one, but like that. Um, when you get to parts, like, um, actually let's use this one for an example. This one, I had to do a little bit more of it. So, basically, if you see, let's see if you can get this on the camera. It's a pretty delicate stencil, but you see right here, like right there, right there, there's spots where it's not supposed to be, but you kind of have to bridge it so that it's an island, you know, because so the pieces won't fall out. Uh, it's pretty hard to explain. I didn't really understand it until you start cutting the stencils. Then you start to know what I, what I mean by this. But uh, a couple of, like the islands, like there was supposed to be like an eyebrow right here and the outline of an eye. And there's really no way to bridge that without it just looking awkward. I mean, you could try, but you can just really leave it off because it'll still look good. So I'm going to go do the background uh, on our uh, canvas that we're going to be spraying this onto. And then we'll get to spraying this and it'll look pretty sweet, hopefully. All right, so for the background on this piece, I just painted it blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a splatter effect to it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So basically, you just get an old spray paint cap. This is like of a Rusto or something. And then you get your spray paint. And what you're going to want to do is just spray into the cap. And it's going to get messy, so that's why I'm wearing uh, a glove. So basically, just spray in there. And then kind of flick the paint out onto it. The more paint, the more splatters you'll get. I got kind of a big one in there. I think that was the pigment coming out of the can. All right, it looks decent. Look at that. And 
looking pretty good. You don't really want to overdo it. More little splatters in there. I think we're about good. Hopefully that bubble will, uh, those bubbles will settle down. And then we'll be ready to put our stencil on it. Alright, so I've got my pencil here. And I'm just going to make a few marks and mark where, uh, for reference on where I'm going to place the other stencils so that everything's lined up. When we do it. Alright, got everything marked, lined it up, you can tape it down here, um, sometimes I just prefer holding it down because it's easier and it stays down usually better. So here we go, let me go. Alright, now, finally, I'm going to start spraying on this thing, start for the weight guys. If you live somewhere where it's windy though, I recommend. Uh, if you're doing this on a canvas, uh, that you spray it like in a garage or somewhere because you don't want the wind to carry the uh, paint when you're spraying it. And you just want to do light. You don't want to get a lot of overspray. And I think for this one I might have to do two coats because it's not covering. Actually no, it's just, that looks good. Alright, and you want to lift up your stencil carefully so not to smear the paint, but, and you want to lift it up so you also do not have your stencil sticking. Alright, so we're going to let wait about 10 minutes between each one for it to dry. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes now, and we're going to display the next layer, which is the gray layer. So just place that on top, you want to make sure to match it up. Gray spray paint. You guys know how you spray paint by now, hopefully. This Rusto, guys, is actually really trash. Uh, I went to the hardware store because I didn't have any gray spray paint. And I just picked some of this up, but and it wasn't cheap either. It was like $5. And it's not worth it. It's pretty nasty spray paint. And that's not in a good way. But, uh. So there we've got the gray layer going on. Starting to see a person looking pretty sick, I think. And, uh. We'll wait 10 minutes for the next one. Back with my gloves on. Because as much as I'd love to have. Spend a while scrubbing paint off my hands. I already spend enough time scrubbing out on my fingernails. So, quick sprays. Been pretty good. Get it nice and even. Final unveiling. It's gonna look sweet. Tell me that doesn't look sick. That looks sick. You don't need to tell me. That's dope. No, 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 it's a classic. I'm actually going to start making stickers with these, so that will be pretty sweet. Stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you make any of these stencils, uh, post a video response. I'd love to see them, guys. If you have any questions, post in the comments, personal message me. I'll get back to you. I know it's kind of long, this tutorial, but uh, I wanted to be nice and detailed. So, 